social media was taken off. You get that big boom of influencers. We believe every missing person matters, regardless of their race, religion, background, or circumstances. A popular Korean influencer took a break. We then later found out that she was murdered. They then looked to her social media post, and her last post stood out to a lot of people. It said that she was basically gonna take a break. And not to mention, before she was murdered, she was caught on CCTV walking by herself. One of the dangers of social media is not knowing who's behind these accounts or what they're truly capable of. She'd like to report her daughter as missing. Is she tied up somewhere and still alive? She has the new life that she want to keep living up. She just want to be in her own world right now. She wanted to be a normal person again. She didn't want to be this influencer all the time, trying to get caught up in all of the numbers and play this influencer character. She just wanted to be a normal girl again. She was really excited for this normal life. And then she says, you know what? Maybe I might come back. And of course, the audience. Some audience did not like this because they loved her. They loved watching her. They loved viewing her content on YouTube. And then there was the other side. They was like, you know what? We understand. Go on your Corey X Kenshin type of vibe and have your break, have your cake, and eat it too. For those who didn't get the Corey X Kenshin line, he's a YouTuber who's been gone for like a year now and people are going crazy. Now, I want to take y'all back into a crazy situation in her life when people thought that she was put into a cult. Now, cults can be very scary. And the reason why this whole thing came about was because she disappeared for a whole month and no one knew why. So they were saying to each other, the ones who believe in this cult fantasy, if it's real, maybe the cult have something to do to why she's taking a break. Do she have her phone? Is she the one controlling her social media posts? Maybe not. Her name is Ayoung. She's a live streamer on YouTube. And one of her friends texted her out of curiosity and said, if you're not live streaming on YouTube anymore and you're going to live this normal life, then what are you going to do? She wrote back, I have to leave the country immediately right now because I have a stalker. But when I come back, I'm going to go into details about everything and I'm going to update you and I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do with my life. It almost seemed like she probably had a lot of stalkers in her past. But this one, since she's leaving the country, maybe know where she lives know some personal things about her threaten her she probably made face-to-face -face contact with this person because the friend didn't even care the friend ignored it like it's a normal thing which influencers do get stalked one of my most popular videos on youtube is a famous youtuber getting stalked but remember when she was gone for that month she had a title on one of her videos on the lines of i'm still alive when she left her hometown her body was then found a murder definitely took place and that stalker she mentioned we probably gotta go back on that look deeper into that look at her social media and her comments and see if we can spot anything odd with that being said let's get into the strange case of ayong the popular korean streamer <laughs> Now look, if you new here, I take this time because I feel like y'all are important. We have this little movement, it's called GGYS, go get your snacks. And all of the pictures you're seeing here is people just coming to my DMs, DMing me their snacks while they watching my videos. And I absolutely love it so much. Shout out to Corey X Kenshin, y'all already know what I'm about to say, GGYS, go get your snacks. This is gonna be a wild case. I just started off in your world. Now, when she was found, she wasn't in her hometown. She was miles and thousands of miles away from her hometown. But there is this clinic in Cambodia. Now, this clinic people would talk about frequently because of how strange it was. This clinic would help with patients, people who need help. It's a doctor's place, basically. It's very, very tiny, though. All of the locals around the area would say how strange this place is because they don't really see anyone coming in and out the place. It has such a huge mystery to it. So dealing with this clinic, you have two sides. One, people just thought it was perfectly normal and fine, and they're not over thinking the situation at all then there's two the people who works inside of this clinic the people who owns this clinic they're strange and they're doing strange things i don't think it's just a place for patients there has to be something darker going on but obviously no one can truly know so it was all theory and speculations and that was it now stay with me because everything is going to line up soon now in cambodia a man named mr wadi he's a constructor worker as he was working in this construction site he seen something inside of a pit that was filled with water at first he's thinking you know it's just trash from the construction site so i'm gonna go and clean this up as he get closer to this 
trash, he noticed that it was not trash. It was this red cloth, but it was really big. And he noticed some feet poking out and a little bit of hair poking out. At this time, he knew it was a but he couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. He immediately called the police. And when the police come there, they investigate the whole scene and he noticed Mr. Wadi is still looking at the whole crime scene. It was bad. To start off, the person was wrapped in this electrical cord wire and then wrapped around with some red cloth. And they just laid the person in this pit filled with water. And I do want to point out, I don't know how it is in Cambodia. Of course, I know of Cambodia, but I rarely hear any crimes there. Of course, I rarely do because I'm not really from there. But I always seen it as this tropical, beautiful place with a very low crime rate. And the only reason why I mention this is because it's actually on my bucket list to visit Cambodia. Yes, I actually want to visit. Maybe not after this. Well, maybe so. I mean, I'm in America. You know, America, we do all types of crimes here. Now, as they unwrap this person and as they unwrap the electrical cord, they noticed that this was a lady. But her face was completely unidentifiable. No one could figure out who she was. And this is why Mr. Wadi knew as soon as he seen the scene, it was crazy. Side note, the security guard for this area arrived at the crime scene around the same time that the police did. He had a few words. He wanted to say that it looked like she was hit with something. She had a lot of bruises on her body and she even had some scars like right next to her butt the thing about this guy who's reporting to the news to the reporter is that a lot of people find him kind of odd they was looking at him sideways like you know too much but of course when there's a strange murder just like the idaho murder case, when that was so strange we was all saying he did it he did it she did it no he did it so it's quick to point fingers when this mysterious murder happens but we never know now around this time investigators is trying to find out who this body belongs to this is what they're working on now and this is what all that matters now because we have to work backwards we have to try to find out what happened before this is what the police will come out to say they started working backwards i do want y'all to also understand that this crime scene was very public everyone knew everything eventually in a short amount of time they knew that the crime scene was bad almost everyone knew how this person looked after the crime scene and that's when they decided to step back on that guy who was reporting and was like you know what maybe he has a point because we know some descriptive things about this crime scene as well. And I wasn't even there. I just seen it on the news. So people started to spare him and say, you know what? Maybe he's innocent. And as police and investigators working, as they doing autopsies and as they fingerprinting and IDing, they ended up finding who this body belongs to. As you guessed, and as well expected, Aya, who is a foreigner to Cambodia who live in South Korea, the live streamer. I mean, the stalker, I'm gonna leave the country, then we find her, delete it? And it wasn't just no, oh, she's deleted. It was, she was badly deleted. So like, what happened? This goes all the way back to her fans. The people who support her and love her dig deep into this case. They cannot believe what just happened. People are crying, people are mad, sad, and people become investigators because you know, Sometimes the audience who's watching, they investigate deeper than police at times, as we know. So they're digging really deep, going through her comments, going through her past videos, looking at each video segment just to see if they see a stalker in the background. They're looking at the people who she take pictures with, her friends. They're looking at any little detail that is slightly off. I mean, they was trying to find any boyfriends, any exes. They wanted to see anything. Even family members wasn't safe around the time. Fans was getting overly protective over this case. I mean, when you love somebody, what you expect? They even went to the extent to put, maybe this is a clue. Maybe this is a clue. Maybe this is a clue. What am I talking about? Because she would put quotes online. She would put sentences with certain phrases. And she would say certain things on a live stream that people would say, maybe that's a clue. Now, as I decided to look deeper into her social media, I mean, she would just do makeup she was so into makeup she loved to record herself just doing her makeup she loved to vlog and walk around and talk and get ready with me type of videos this is what she liked to do you didn't really see anything crazy of her on why anyone wanted to do anything crazy to her it was like almost impossible to find anything but we have to go back to remember she said she had a stalker now now why would she have a stalker well let's go to her pictures this is down the truth if you look at her picture she has this appeal to her it's a nice looking appeal to her and this is going to gravitate the wrong kinds of men because naturally you're going to have people crave and thirst and comment probably even have you on a wall and lock screen because that's how bad they want you so looking at her photos and she's this popular live streamer in south korea is it possible that she runs into fans as she's walking by herself of course meaning is it possible for one of those thirst people to run across her of course maybe follow her in the distance and find out where she lives and stress out her life causing her to want to take a break and be 
this normal person and then she brings up a stalker and now we find her unalive this is the reason why this case the theories get so crazy because i just made up that theory and came up with that theory as i'm talking but it sounds reasonable also understand people looked at her like the kim kardashian oh i, I can say that but i really can't say that because of course she's not as big as kim kardashian but they would call her bagel meaning that her body was so good and so nice and she had this nice pretty face so her body alone was already known for being talked about so i guess they say bagel in south korea and we'd be like that hourglass shape or we'd be like she's shaped like a pear <laughs> like we have all types of different names for bodies but i'm pretty sure that you get the point now so we go back to the day she went to cambodia the day that she arrived in cambodia she goes to a couple's place now they're close friends but we really don't know much about this couple it's like this couple is anonymous we don't know if they're cambodians we don't know if they're koreans but it's completely 100 percent confirmed that she goes to this couple now of course this couple was suspects number one but since they was cleared they decided to look for more suspects well on cctv footage you see her it's the next day day two of her in cambodia cctv footage you see her walking by herself as people notice in this cctv footage a lot of people say that it's probably not her first time being here because she looks very comfortable in this it looks like she's familiar with the area i travel often almost all the time by myself i never went out the country with anyone what am i trying to say well i'm looking around every day i'm never just and i'm never just walking like i'm gonna have that touristy walk i'm gonna be looking and walking and looking and walking like you can look at me you can clearly look at me and be like oh yeah he's a tourist but her since this is her second day by the way here it look like she's just comfortable with this area and familiar with it because i'm extra and sometimes dramatic on day two when i'm out the country this is exactly how i am Meanwhile, on day two for her. Now, the building that she's walking inside of is this tiny clinic. You know, the clinic all around this neighborhood, this area that people do not like and that most stay away from. Inside of this Cambodian country, a couple owned this place. It was Chinese people that owned this place, a Chinese couple, and the sign was in Chinese. So it was almost like it was strictly for Chinese people who live in the area or maybe some Chinese foreigners. That was the vibe of this place. And that's the reason why Cambodians was probably off with this whole clinic place. <laughs> Because the truth is the Cambodians didn't really know nothing about the place because no Cambodians go there, only Chinese people apparently. It was confirmed that they had no certificates for medicine. They do surgery as well like they had nothing to confirm that they went to school and completed their work for this type of job. And it's almost like how did they even open this up? How did they get this? Maybe it's easier in this country, Cambodia. That's probably why they picked that country. Who knows? But hearing that alone, it's very terrifying because imagine you go there for surgery or for some medicine and they don't really have no degrees on this. You have to go off what they study or research just by their self, them two alone. That's putting a lot of trust in people you don't know. I would never. But I guess Ayan did put a lot of trust in these people because she's going inside of this place. Maybe she's about to get something done, which you will know very, very shortly. But already this clinic is not looking good. It's not looking, y'all not looking good, Chinese couple. When someone goes inside of a clinic and never comes back out, of course the locals and the Cambodians is gonna be like, what is up with that clinic? Something has to be wrong. And another question you might be asking yourself, if they don't have the license, why do they have the confidence to open up a clinic well they came out the couple the chinese couple came out and said our family studies medicine and they taught us the wife said she taught her husband and they built up the confidence to open up a clinic yeah i regret not going to school for it and get my license but at least we know how to do it let's begin at least they say so not only that we have a Born. And since we have a skill in this, we might as well open up a clinic so we can be financially stable for our family that we just created. When you listen to this, it just sounds like they trying to make it out. They just trying to build a career, feed their family, and live their everyday normal life. Now, the first visit on her second day in Cambodia, she walks in the clinic and she walks back out. A third day happened. This is her last time ever going inside of the clinic, but she never makes it back out. Immediately, I'm wondering why did she visit this clinic, especially at Cambodia? I mean, not to diss the country or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, you are this popular influencer. You going to this nine license ducked off clinic. When she went the first time, she was there for an hour and a half. 
something made her come back. So obviously they have some procedure going on. There's something going on that made her come back. Because I know for a fact, not just Americans do this. Well, I'm Caribbean America, but I live in America. We don't just go to a place and be like, you know what? I'm gonna just walk inside this building and get done what I need to get done. The first thing we're gonna do is look into it. First, do they have any reviews? Do they even have a website? And if I travel, I'm definitely about to ask the locals around before I just go in and they about to do something to me, my body that I want done, or maybe some medicines that I need. It almost just feel like she just put, like she had too much trust in them. And for me, that's very strange and creepy. Like that's, ah. Uh, I just can't because they do do surgery as well imagine the people that you don't know i assume they don't even have a website they put you to sleep once you go to sleep you have to rely on everything now it turns out she goes to this clinic to get surgery this is strange because this is a fact as well she's from south korea which is the number one spot for plastic surgery probably didn't know that probably know about turkey for the veneers or mexico or brazil but for plastic surgery south korea ranks number one or at least the top two so for her to even leave her own country to get this done wouldn't make sense and she's successful let's not forget that um there's this popular korean youtuber who you might know stephanie look what her family told her even my family they're like if you ever get surgery stephanie you go to korea she's a korean youtuber telling people that her own family said don't get it anywhere else go to south korea to get your plastic surgery if you was to ever do it and if we want to dig a little deeper and say let's just say she wanted something cheaper but this is a clinic it just don't make sense this is a clinic that is ducked off not much people know anything about it we all know like i said on her social media her appearance her appeal is why a lot of people gravitate towards her besides her videos and online stream so if she let this random clinic do something to her it can mess up everything and that's why i keep saying it really don't make sense to go to this ducked off random clinic that is not licensed and probably don't have one patient that they did on she's probably the first now i do want to backtrack apparently she wasn't there for surgery but it's possible that she was because they believe it was something under the table that she couldn't get in south korea which we would get to very 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 shortly but on cctv footage on day three the second time that she goes to the clinic which was her final time she leaves the couple's place that she was by at 4 p.m so she had on the same black fit that she had on the first day she went to the clinic. People believe at this time that she's probably wearing the same clothes because she's depressed, but a lot of people that wear the same clothes sometimes just do it without having all of these emotions involved. They just do it. The only thing that was different was the hairstyle. When investigators was looking at CCTV footage, they was trying to spot out to see if she was being followed. They noticed that she was not being followed, but when she went inside of the clinic, they let 30 minutes pass, nothing happened. They noticed once there was an hour and a half in, the door that was open, that you walk in the clinic the door just slammed shut almost like they was closing the place down but she's still in there Ayoung is still in there because you've seen it the lights it turns off and that was the sign that says open that one was the light that turned off <laughs> Do you, do you see the chills? Do you see the chills? I don't know if y'all can see the chills, but I got the chills. This is not the time that they close, by the way. You probably be like, well, well, they close early. No, they do not. Okay, even though, let's just say, yeah, they may have been closing early. Because they don't close at this time, but they may have been closing early. The patient is still inside the building. She's still inside. Time and time goes by. It's around 6 p.m. around this time. The wife comes out, and she's peeking. Now, wouldn't you even say peeking? She's just coming out, looking back like this like this and she walks back in the building three minutes exactly go by and they switch the board back on now they're open so they was not closing early then hours go by no one goes inside of the clinic because like i said earlier people do not go inside this clinic as hours go by he's leaving around like eight something the husband is caught on cctv leaving by himself walking then he's seen on cctv arriving back at the clinic around nine something on a scooter or some type of motorbike it was almost like he was picking up his wife because he did pick up his wife and then they left the strange thing is the patient never left there is no back door there is no back exit there was only one way to leave this place and by the way at this time the store is finally closed like it is closed 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 then there are seen in his blue car the husband and the wife they stop the car as you see the wife is seen going inside of the clinic the husband backs up the car and place it next to the exit it is blocked off by cctv footage they got really lucky with this by the way and you cannot see what they're putting inside of the trunk but of course it applied that they're putting someone inside of the trunk 
someone, yes, someone, the same exact car was seen at a construction site going back, forward, back, forward, back. It was at least five times, maybe six, counting most, but it was five or six times. This construction site, of course, is where Ayoung was found, but it wasn't the same day she was placed there. It was the next day. So she was placed there on June 5th. CCTV footage saw the car there on June 5th. The next day, June 6th, construction worker, Wadi, who I told y'all about earlier, seen her feet poking out this red cloth this is when she was spotted the next morning the husband had a story to tell because of course he was questioned and the wife but the husband said she came in for a plasma injection it's to boost your immune system immune <laughs> immune system but when i injected into her she started seizing up her body was not reacting to it well and also side note chinese netherlands who works in the medicine field in the surgery field came out and said that does not make sense because the serum that he's talking about the injection it's a very low stake injection you will have to have so much medical issues to even start seizing up from an injection like that so that's impossible at least for someone like her that's that young she's 33 by the way so for all authorities out there i got y'all y'all are still young y'all are still look come, come here let me hug you yes you're still young don't let anybody tell you otherwise you're still young 40s 50s look y'all still young too side note i used to have a dream in my lifetime this is the secret of mine i know i'm off topic right now just give me 25 seconds real quick in my lifetime i always had this dream of me growing up that this cougar would just lay it down on me I always wanted a cougar to just lay down on me, just take me in her house and be like, you know what? Take everything off. <sighs> That started really young, by the way, age of 14, and it stayed with me as I got older. That's a little funny secret, though, but back to the story. They realized that what he was saying did not make sense, but the husband's story would change up multiple times. He didn't just stick with this one story. He would change it up. Now, with that injection story, also understand that this was not a serious injection. This was not nothing big, crazy. Maybe she did have some health problems. Maybe she did, but he said he freaked out. He told the police he freaked out, and he had to get rid of her, but then he told journalists, another story he told journalists there was the day that she came in it was her second time coming in the clinic when she came in she said she wasn't feeling very well but she wanted this chinese injection but i declined and i told her you know what just lay down i started to play a game on my phone time went by when i checked on her i seen her foaming out the mouth i panicked i had to get rid of her he also gave the vibe of she was high on like she had some type of addiction because he seen her with needle marks on, on her body before he even done anything to her. To spare the couple, is this possible? Even though that this is this clinic with no license, is it possible that this could have been a coincidence and it's looking like a murder? Yes, of course. But if you think about it on a regular person perspective, if I was in y'all shoes and I know that she's foaming out the mouth, the first thing that we'll do is call 112 is the 911 in America. I will call 112 to get the police here quickly. What are you talking about that you've seen her foaming out the mouth and you didn't get no police involved is it because it can't be because the clinic is illegal y'all had to do some type of finessing in some sort of way because this clinic is in a public setting and locals and police and authority already knew about the clinic so it's like why you didn't just call authorities that story can't be true now because the couples came up with so many different stories they don't really know what she was probably injected with what they gave her to make her pass away but it was confirmed that they have something to do with it and not only that i don't know if their trial happened yet and like i mentioned earlier in this video i do want to visit cambodia and i know a lot of you probably like why you want to visit there i just like the scenery and i like how it looked i did do some research on it and not much foreigners who visit goes missing i did see a girl that went missing it was very strange they didn't really know how she was missing but but the cambodians were searching everywhere for her there was another backpacker another girl who went missing in cambodia Cambodia. Um, the Cambodians did a big search for her, but I'm sure if you type in person missing and you put in a country, you're going to find someone missing inside of every single country in the world. So am I still going to go? Of course. Yeah, I am. And for those who don't know, when I go to countries, I investigate it. The serial now with this case we still have to go back to when she says stalker we still don't know who stalked her but as we know a lot of girl streamers particularly asians i don't know what it is about asians but y'all get stalked so much if you're asian i don't know why y'all streamers get stalked so much i seen that this guy is following us i mean yes we do know that the stalker don't have nothing to do with her that's because the people with the clinic did it because for some illegal reasons she came to this clinic at least this what the netherlands believes she came to the clinic for some illegal reasons some 
some illegal ejections. It turned out bad. They're gonna go to trial for that if they didn't already. For me, I don't know why the stalker just still in my head. I just wanna know who he was or who he is. Because she says she have a stalker so she's gonna leave town. If it wasn't for the stalker, there's a possibility that she would've never left South Korea and still would've been with us to this day. Now, because we're on the vibe of Asian streamers, influencers, I wanna show y'all something that had me not being able to sleep at night. This YouTuber will post volume one, volume two, kept volume 47 and 46, and she put volume 48. She's also an actress, mind you, but she ended up passing away. There's little clues and little hints that people started to see the deeper they dove into this whole situation, and it is terrifying. Now, remember, she skipped volume 46 and 47 and put volume 48. On the last video she posted on YouTube, at the 48 mark, her body starts to glitch. Now, mind you, she edits her videos. This video is edited by her. Her. And why would she allow this glitch to stay on her video? It was almost like she was telling us something and I'm gonna tell you what I believe she was telling us. Very, very dark by the way, but it stays there for a while. Look at it. I also want y'all to look at this clock. This clock is inverted, I believe. Like, you know how the one, two, three on this side, and the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on this side, where well, the six is in the middle. But you get what I'm trying to say, and I believe the clock is inverted, switched, which means that short hand is almost on the eight, long hand on the six. Eight times six, 48. She was also found passed away 48 hours later. And then on this same video, she spammed 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48. Guess what? On a four minute and eight second mark. What is going on? But here's where it gets even much more terrifying to me. She was born 1984 and weighed 48 kg. Then I noticed a little clue on her last video that much people not talking about, that nobody talked about, really. As she's doing her video, she had a moment where she stopped and paused and turned and looked back, almost as somebody's in her house or someone's knocking on the door. Or it's like some movement in that dark hallway caused her attention. There is no evidence of her coming out saying she had a stalker. I believe I never went on her social media to dig that deep the cause of death they said was from self deletion but people feel like this video was her giving us a clue like her telling us something because it's too many coincidences in this video now y'all don't mind me with no shirt i was just while well, i'm about to go swim but before i end this video i had to search out what the number 48 mean because i was curious and it means like to prosper financial stability manifestation in a way because i was wondering why she put the number 48 and this all tells us one thing she wanted her future to be great why would she self-delete and let's just say she really did she didn't have a stalker no one murdered her remember when i told y'all in the beginning of the video the sign that i believe was going to be really dark well when she was glitching she was doing this basically telling us that's how she want to go out that's just a theory with that being said i do want to say i love you stay safe more videos to come and i hope y'all enjoyed this i hope y'all had y'all snacks food dinner dessert all that yeah bye if you ever wanna fuck with me, bro, maybe you should come try and see